conference will now be recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Dwight. Okay, technology. We seem to be doing okay. We're, um, well, of course, we're being recorded this way, but we got this as well, so. Uh, Carol, is, it, is there anybody else calling in? I think it's going to be quiet. Liz Courtney from Guy Hahn Valley Hall is also on the line. Okay, great, Liz. Let's see. Okay, if we don't have anybody else, let's, um, we'll start with Russell. Okay. You have a request or you want to know what we're interested in. I guess I want to know how this is going to work down the road. Because that road has to be a town road according to the permit. Which I can do, but then I, they, when these people buy, they're asking the question, how do you do this road? So do I set up a road association? Or does the town take the road over when it, once it is run up to town road? That probably won't be this year. I replaced the culvert. I had the culvert engineer and I replaced the culvert because the culvert was all rotted out. The culvert was there and the tree was going to take out the whole road. And it went down that dip. And, but, 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 was that ever a town road? No. No, but did Ron send you the, here's what you need to do to have something become yeah. a town road? Yeah, okay. I read all that okay. stuff. But I just wondered how, what the criteria is because it doesn't exactly say that once it, so that's one thing that, that um, um, Matt Reed had me confused on because he was confused on too because he said, well, when it's the town specs, the town takes it over. And Ron said, no, 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 it doesn't work that way. That's right. So what's the criteria for it to well, be taken over? Quite the criteria is that it can't be more than eight and a half percent as you said. Yeah. And if, it, if it's a town road, it has to be 24 feet wide. But that's my question to you. Do you really want to turn it into a town road? I I really don't. How come well, it has well, to be? What, but that was in the that was in the permit. <laughs> that, well, that let me, yeah, let me look if there's a there's a there's maybe a distinction without a difference. But we can the town can take over a road and that doesn't have to make it a town road, right? No, I mean if a town takes it over. It's got to be a town road. Yeah. Be because a town can't put their trucks on anything that's not a town road. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what the writing is, why it has to be turned over to a town road, but I think it would be better for the people that are going to build out there to do if it has private pasture. I would, but then, then the way, how do I, I'll just well, have a group of engineer the road, but not the town specs. Like I had to call our engineer. That was thirteen hundred bucks and a thirty inch cover, which I wanted to do that and I'll make sure it was right. And I want to make sure the road's wide enough. But I think Dean Walker messed up a few things in there. When you go because there would be there's no way to get a sixty foot or whatever they want for a turn on the other side of that brook. Right. You run it into the bank, you run into a sewer Yeah. Put the cart in front of the horse, the horse behind the cart, or whatever you want to say. <laughs> I think. Russell, we better figure out why it has to be turned into a town road. You don't have to. Well, that's what it's saying. Well, I think it's it's, it says in that permit, and then I think it's, that was from the town and not the state of Vermont, but four, four homes have to have a town road. Has to be on a town road. That's the way I understood it when I read it. You know, because we were trying to give up. Or had it be about the town spec, they weren't going to call the town, but that's what I thought when it won. Well, and it may be about the town specs because they're talking about fire coverage, okay. ambulance coverage. Mm -hmm. even, even though it's not a town road, the town is liable to get that fire truck to a building up there in case of emergency okay. or, or uh, an ambulance and stuff. Right. But that don't mean you have to turn it to a town road, but the town has to maintain it. No, I'm going to need you guys to work with me because sure. that's no, yeah, it would be right. Right. And there's no way it can make that Because we want all the taxes we can get. Well, I would think you guys would. Eighty percent green is going to kill you on that. Well, yes, it is. But that was kind of into another scenario that was brought to us. Yeah. And I know some people build these crazy roads. There's some going in stone down there right now that are probably forty um, percent yeah. green. I know. I mean, they're right straight down. So, uh, so for what he would need would be just a sixteen foot road. Like what's there 18, to, uh, 18, the, the, 18, 18, 18. Yeah. yeah, I think it's eighteen. Well, we, we talked about. Remember last meeting we talked about the Webster Road. Yeah, and that was brought up to town specs or to yeah town specs for the purpose of ambulance and other stuff. 
And I want to remember, and I said I, I measured it, it was 14, and then Ron said that, you know, 16 overall is what it was. Right. I, I measured the travel right. portion of it. Um, I wondered maybe using that as an example, maybe not. But, but uh, it, it don't have to be 18. Yeah. But you have to have a pull-off to put shoulders. Shoulders. Pull-off. So many feet. So the fire truck coming this way, fire truck coming one can pull off. Yeah, one right. volume so, so, so that would figure because, like I said, I measured yeah. the travel portion of the road, and that would that would figure out. So it'd be yeah. yeah. So that's part of it. Eighteen feet um, wide, and then the travel portion, you know, sixteen probably with ten okay. feet on each side. That would give you a start, and then. Uh, but that road up there, you know where the Webster Road is? You yeah. Go, yeah. Okay. And you go all the way up to the end, you take a right. Yeah. Right there. There's a bunch of mailboxes right there. There's a section, 420 feet that I just looked at out there. If you went out and looked at that, I think that would give you an idea of what the towns uh, uh, would be expecting and uh, would approve. I put a for, for the uh, ambulance, fire, and you know, okay. emergency vehicles. Because I put a 40 foot culvert in. 30 inch 40 foot culvert so it's plenty of white not there and then it's just the turnaround I can see in Dean Walker how he drew stuff you know it's a piece of paper nothing's to scale and they run into stuff I said there's no way we're going to make a turnaround and it'll be big enough you can there will be a turnaround before you go to get to Rick's Law I took some of the fill and pushed it down around to get to the 8% grade down below now yeah. do, you, do, you, do you really in the back of your mind wanted a town road? no I really didn't. I mean, every Rick was asking me. Of course, it is idea was well. I'm not paid to blow it, but I'm like, no, I, I didn't. I don't think I really want the town. No, because because it, it, if the town specs it is sixty foot, and then the town road, you're not going to go to sixty foot. Yeah. Right, it's not a town right, road. right. You just okay. You just because actually, I'm on a private road. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be on a town road. No, 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 no. You're right. No, we're fine, and we and we know. We got we got plenty of space for fire trucks and ambulances to get there and turn around and get out and do all that sort of stuff, but we wouldn't we wouldn't come close to meeting the, being a town road. Right. And, and there's no and what we just all do is sort of say, here's what it's going to cost for the, you know, to do something. Mm -hmm. We've never formed a formal association, yeah. but mostly with the people on the road to say, here here's what we're gonna <clears throat> here's what we're gonna do. We hire one guy to come in and plow all of it in everybody's driveways. That's good long there, but it gets along. I live on the same situation, yeah, but yeah. they did a road association, the good thing they did, except they didn't do it right. I'm on first one on the road, and everybody that pays an equal price, which is usually the further out you are, the more you pay. Right, right. There's seven right. houses on that thing, and more so. I, be, I remember somebody to take care of you, though, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do so. We'll decide the roads, but it's just like it's, and then you hear all these others. I used to buy one in Mocha, they, they didn't have road associations for food. Two houses up there wouldn't pay. Yeah. And it comes to fixing the road up. And I believe that's why I've kind of got to set this up when I sell a lot, either road association. Yep. I tell you now, I own land up on the Jones Road in Marco, up in Mocha. Yeah. You know, when uh, Elroy was building yeah. the way at the end. Well, the first three, four people had an eight that one two miles up. <coughs> had to pay. Yeah. You know, yeah, and as long as people know that when they're buying the lot, that's the well, that's that's problem. I don't yeah. intend on selling any more names. Right now, anyhow. Right, right. But, but get it in. Is it, look at look at some good models of yeah. association. So when people know in, they know yeah. they know what they're buying in. So what we got to do here is we to get to, this straightened out. Why he says that it says in your contract that it has to be a town road. We got to get that brought together. Can you scan that to me? I will. And yeah, let me, let me give you my email address. address yeah. I'll, uh, I'll give you my email address, and then you can. Uh, That's where we got to start. You can scan first. it to me. Right. Yeah, because it, it looks like it's, when Gordy went through the process, that the three lots were fine, but once he added that other lot, yeah, it triggered a town road to town spec. Right, because it's a development. Yeah, because you don't want that town because then you want to. It's probably on the plan side. I mean, I can see if it's a great big long road, but this is just a short distance. Yeah. Here. I got one more question. Yeah. Do you think it sells better with a town road? A lot. I don't think it would. I think I a lot of people would want either. the private road. Me too. I, I would, you know, I'm, yeah, I think, it, well, you've got to understand, Rick, he's a little, you know, with a dollar and 50 cents. And it's like, I'm not afraid to plow this. 
But at least you can plow it and you can do it when you want to. Yeah. And you ain't going to listen to the backup horns all morning long. Yeah. Oh, I'd rather not see it in town. And I, and I think it's better for everybody that's living out there. And you don't have people driving out there, sitting out there doing drug deals at the end of the road. And you got to kick them out of there. It's like, how do you get them out of there? Because that's nice and private. That they drive yeah, out there, yeah. there's only four houses out there. And there's a lot of stuff that happens like that. Yeah, I, oh, I, I understand the point. I think okay. that private, <laughs> private would be better. Yeah. yeah. But that's okay. just my question, and I was a little worried about that the more I read it and I said, well, why don't you go over and talk to them? Yeah. yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I just think the 8% grade, you guys, it's going to kill you. You've got to get the IU well, tax a, dollars in this town. That's the planning commission, so. Yeah. Yeah. And plus, yeah, the fire trucks. Yeah. Right. Right. That's, right. 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 that's yeah. what that yeah. becomes the issue with the fire trucks yeah. on there. And I know somebody's that's talked to me about it, and they're absolutely right. We live in the mountains. Yeah. You know, how do we get, you know, beyond the eight and a half percent grade? I mean, and he's absolutely right. Yeah. And I know you, you and I know you see some, like I went out that mountain view estate or whatever it is. I was like, wow, I go out that road. I'm like, oh my word. Of course, it was after the spring pot way out there. It was just a nasty road yeah. up to them. Some of them houses got some pretty steep driveways. So I just started looking around and I said, well, we're just going to just take a ride right around and see what that was it, going it's, on over But yeah. I think as a board, I think we do anything we could to help him out. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. yeah. Well, I, I, think I, I think Matt, after it cost more money than I thought it was going to, but I'm getting it right. So we moved one lot, and one lot was way up in the back. Almost up onto that Blackberry, or what is the name? Of it? There's a little road up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blackberry yep, Lane. Yep. Not very far. You walk through the yeah. woods. I was surprised yeah. when I went up through there because I thought it was open wood. There's a the house. There's well, another house. Can you see that used to be Gordy's Lane? Yeah. Because uh, Wyatt was the last place. Yeah. Gordy's boy. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, see that that furthest lot is on top of that hill, yeah. but it was a lot of getting the road up in there. You could have got the road up in there, and it would have made a wicked nice site. But I was like, I'm not. Fighting with this eight percent grade up to it yet. We'll be moving dirt for months, and there was a couple of wetlands issues up there. So I'm not sure. Yeah. So but we had not draw it all in the end. It'd be different if you're going to have it for your home site, but I'm going to sell it. So we moved it down. So it's next to the right in front of the camp. Now it's going to be off to the as you want the camp be off the right. So it's still going to be out of sight. I believe we got a good report with Matt too, and I'm working with him on another project too. For, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. He, yeah. I think he's he's, he's very sharp about stuff, yeah. and he's easy yeah. to work with. And, yeah. Yep. No. So he's excellent. Not. Yeah. So. You're trying to do things right, and I just, no, I just, good. that was my only spiel. I kept looking at it. Down road thing. Like, wow. Yeah. No, you don't have to do it. Okay. The lots, how big, uh, how big are the lots going to be? Two and a half. Maybe? Yeah, they're about two and a half. Yeah. 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 See, that's an, I, just, I don't know what's in the zoning. So if the zoning is. Yeah, I think it's two and a half. Well, it's, a, it's so, the two and a half, but if it's more than three houses, do they, does zoning say you have to do something? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think that, I don't know. I think the town triggered that when when Gordy put that other lot. Yeah, but it, it, what the town triggers is what the planning process is. Yeah. So that's the yeah. right. So it's okay. the right. Uh, okay, we'll figure we'll figure it out. As long as you guys are working with me, yeah. The well, yeah. Turn around. I'm not. Yeah. There's no way I can get that turn around. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. run into some ledge out there. Well, I didn't think we're going to run into either, but you know, some ledge. Yeah. I think people would be happier with a private road. Yeah, yeah, I do too. I think How long do you think it is overall? You what you want to achieve the length of the road? The length of the road. Uh, I was trying to think. Of that. I saw that. When I would come over here, I said I should take a wheel and gone all the way up to this. I would say 600 feet up. 600 feet in front of yeah. Let's start from the town road. Town road out to over across the culvert. The one lot's before you get to the culvert. And then the other three lots are once you cross that 30 inch culvert. I've been up at Gordy's. Well, that's, well, it's all 600 feet up to there. Yeah. Well, where the roads all separate, then it's probably another 100 feet it is out there, so. Yeah, so, yeah, I'll take you know where it is. Yeah. Okay. I just want to get a sit I'd like to get up get up here and take a look yeah. at it. Just by the lamp I, place. I got the other idea. What? Yeah. Right by the, the old Silver Ridge lamp place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without it just past it? No, before. Before. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The road's on the right was down in there. The road yeah. before. Okay. Almost right across from Silver Ridge design. Yeah, I know where that is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
There's another question brought up today. I guess I better bring it up. Which one are going? Go on. The guy at the light place wanted to put something out next to the road saying, I don't know if he wants to do a pulling like Gordy did or whatever on a stone. As long as I'm out of the right way, put him to permit for something. Not long drill, the 25 yeah, foot. Yeah, long drill, right, yeah. Okay, all right. Because he approached me, called me, said, I'd like to put something up out there. And I said, well, I'll split it with you. I've been thinking about it. And then I'll just yeah. something. It's nice. Everybody. Yeah, 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 nice. yeah, 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 that'd be nice. Yeah. Just, just to let us know and we can... Yeah. Give you a little publicity about yeah. it. Maybe right. do something nice when you do it. Be yeah. nice to do I will be nice. I just yeah. want to, I yeah. just trying to, I will go through his point book tonight and give it to Jody and try to pick yeah. out and that somebody carried in, maybe put it into a big drop or something. Yeah. Nice. yeah, 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 that'd be really nice. I think it should be done. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You have some good points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some you could read in public. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> All right, Tom, I'll set up. Okay, super. Great, thank you. Okay, give me that. Right I'll, up, and I'll, I'll get, go through this tonight or tomorrow morning and see what I can find. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's my number two, so either text me or call me the app things you got. Yeah. And Ron's going to get to work with you over here. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, very knowledgeable. Yeah. 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 So. I didn't know about the permit, so last permit I got my name. I said, I said, I don't want to get one change because I don't want somebody to say, because I don't know if the neighbors are like that. Maybe from the land gives that guy that bought 40 house a little brief that he had some windows. And just put them out beside the room and put them for free. Presume they're all gone, they're still two seconds. Is that how my room works? Is it just don't get them all around there? Yeah. <laughs> all right, have a good evening, Rob. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Um, the covert bids. Yes, we've got. Uh, you get the copies of those. And yep. Did you get my? Uh, I did. Email I sent out to everybody. Well, yeah, yeah. I did. I didn't even look at it. Yet. I just see it outside. I think it's been done. I want everybody to look at it before we decide which one. Okay, you want Dave and I here. You know, yeah, I, thank you. I talked to Ed from uh, Hutchins. Yes. And I talked to Colonel okay. from Avery's and Wake. Yep. They call them one more commitment. Okay, great. So. Uh, and okay. All right, just a second. So. Yep. Uh, let me see. You need. Um, Not bad for this time of year. You get all these bits. That's right. And yeah. yeah, I got. I made it on. Oh, you made it on. Okay, I was just texting you a number. <laughs> okay. It? Okay, it's There we go. Sometimes numbers pop you right through, and sometimes it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. Just this is Mark French. Mark okay, French. we're just just getting to the to the bids. Um. Was was Mark here? No, no, he was right because I. Yeah, today, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was his grandmother's graveside service today. Um, have you seen the bids, Mark? No, I haven't. Ah, okay. I'll be hauling out to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's quite Mark, a range, Mark. We had five bids. Five bidders. Uh, the first one was uh, Nick Malosh, and Nick come in at $65,675. We had out, there, out of Wakefield, Vermont, uh, excuse me, Williamstown, Vermont, Avery Excavation. He came in at 66600 very, very close. Yep. Contractor's crane service out of Morrisville came in at 83000 Lamoille Construction came in at 54500 And Jay Hutchins came in at $45,121. Thirty-eight thousand, almost a thirty-eight thousand dollar difference between the highest and lowest bid. Now, now working with with Hutchins before, have you any reason why 
You have any doubts about Hutchins? You know, we've always had a good working relationship with them, and they seem to stand behind their work for us too in the past. Okay. Great. Because that was definitely the lowest bid. Okay, I guess you'll answer our question then. <laughs> it's a pretty, pretty amazing spread. <clears throat> now, what about the, the pavement part of that? What is that going to be looked at? Well, we want to see. We're, we're working. Oh, just a second. Yeah. Go ahead. Mark, it's Brian, and uh, we're, uh, we're going to discuss that in, in just a few minutes here, probably. But. Uh, uh, we want that road to be looked at to try to see what um, what condition it is and what uh, what we will need to do. We're trying to figure it out in advance what we're going to do to upgrade it so that the pavement we do put onto it uh, won't be uh, gone in five years. And uh, so let me see if I can find that firm. I got so many um, messages here. Uh, is this I Summit? Uh, Summit? I think it was Summit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Summit Engineering. Yeah. And, and they were they were going to look at it, and I had an email with uh, with him, and, um, and I'm not sure if we really got what we, we will need from them. We, we want to do some sort of a little core samples along the uh, road so we can figure out what's underneath it, and that wasn't quite included in what they were uh, proposing. And then they were saying something about they may have to sub- uh, something like that L uh, to get what we need for the core. And I want to discuss it with the board about uh, um, should we just go with the contractor who will do the core work and not have to worry about the middleman type of thing? Right? We've got to figure that out. So that's still in discussion right. on that. Okay. So we, we, want to, we want to try to figure out best we can ahead of time what we're looking at underneath that, on that pavement. Right. So that's what that's our next step is is that, and uh, of course we'll be gathering information uh, when uh, they start doing the excavate uh, excavating for the culverts. Now, when they start excavating for the culverts, was the plan to reclaim it all one shot in the beginning, or do we really know what the plan is? Um, we're not going to reclaim at this point in time, and it depends on those uh, samples that we were, were looking to get. If we need to reclaim it or not, if there's some set, if some areas where we need to get it right, the, all the uh, pavement reclaimed, then we'll be uh, be doing that to get down to whatever sub layers that are uh, inferior. You're gonna okay, that and again. the Cleveland Corners Hill is part of this project. The, the, um, I don't know the answer to that. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I, I don't think so. We'll have to drag box that before winter if that's not the case. Especially on the right-hand side right going up. Yeah. So to answer your question, Roland, what, what, it, what it, it is is um, the, we want to find out what we got underneath the pavement. If, if what's right. underneath there is not good material, we want to replace it and put something in there that will uh, take the load of the, the road and stuff like that so it won't um, um, I thought we were going to put gravel on it and, and mill it all together, but we wanted to make sure if there's anything down below that that's going to, you, you got to have a good foundation, as we all know, and uh, and then make sure we, we, nothing's in there. We don't want to have stumps or something down inside there and having mm -hmm. to work over those. we got to pull them out and make sure it's going to be a good road. And, I don't think you're going to find nothing like that. You're going to find stumps and bonus. So let me part of the reason for talking could see it's like here's an idea here and here's an idea here and it isn't part of it getting some some professionals to come through and do it and see what they recommend that we do. And Mark is the 
the piece that or or Brian's the piece that's missing because we talked about where they're doing boring sound through it, right? That's the piece that was missing, yeah. Right. But is that necessary where they're doing the culvert? Or no. is this from the culvert up? The, it would be from Cleveland Corner down of where the testing okay. would be. Okay. No, no, I think I think actually if I'm not mistaken, we talked about doing the whole thing. So we'll know when it comes time next year to do the other. So it might have hired them just want to get it all done as uh, testing. And, and so you can't go by culverts. The culverts, because when they put the culverts in, they put gravel and everything in there, so it looks nice. Right. Okay. So so what Summit is missing is the borings, right? Yes. And so is this proposed? Thank you for pointing outline tavern the payment treatment on the center road and we this is this is their bid for the whole center road minus but it doesn't have the borings it doesn't have the boring and that's what i sent to uh um the mr gray or what was his name weber well, yeah okay. Doug weber. Doug weber. but anyways yeah. uh that that was the response i gave back and i cc'd it to, to you so i think is not uh, wrong um and anyways, uh, so I, I'm thinking, I mean, we got to find out what's underneath that. That is really so it's a good, right. a good base. Right. I want to invest the money and make it a good investment and not have to have the taxpayer pay it again down the road. Okay, so, so um, Mark, what do you think so far? Yeah, I should bore it before we invest the money in gravel and we don't know what the base is. So I guess we just wait to hear back from... Well, Ron, I wanted to talk to Ron too, and I know he's on vacation, so uh, that'll slow down the process a little bit, but um, um, I wanted to hear what the board thought about the idea as well, about making sure that that boring was done. But again, um, this company here did not include that. They'd have to subcontract it out. <clears throat> and if we had somebody else that did that, we wouldn't have to pay for them and for the other person. Are these bids here, you mean? No. No, just, no, no, we're through with that. Okay. This yeah, is, this yeah. is, you guys, it was in, it was in your packet, the letter from Summit Engineering. Oh, yeah, that one's like right in, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, we got to find out if everybody's bidding on the same exact thing. Like you said, you know, somebody somebody admitted it and they were Yeah. Well this is this is this is the only person that we Yeah because we've done a lot of other work with them. I, and and I don't know where down, right. where maybe Ron has I think Ron worked with these the companies. Yeah we've done a lot with some of it Yeah. And yeah. so anyways uh um but like I said when I was reading through it I couldn't understand I didn't see anything about boring or the sub layers. And it was based on uh, what I felt was speculation on the top, just, just by viewing the top. You got to get in there, you got to find what's in there before you. But Brian, that road up through there is how long has it been since it's been blacked off? Uh, they never blacked off. Blacked off or, or chip sealed. Okay. okay. But if you look at the road, I mean. Did, did you read the letter from? I did. Okay. So do you know any of these? I figure you must know some of these state people that are working for them now. Okay. Well, if you got that good road up through there, and you add some more gravel this year and grind it all in, you're still going to have a good road. I mean, your barn's not going to tell you if you got to stump here or stump there because they're going to burrow every every 300 yards, 400 yards. Oh, 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 oh. What I will say, and I think Mark will agree with me. Is, is that road is not frosty in the spring, spring of the year? There you go. That's all you need. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This engineer is going to... What, Mark? So, yeah, I'd, I'd just feel, you know, what is it, 30 years has been since it's been paved? Actually, blacktop? 30 years? No, blacktop, it was chick sealed 12 years ago. Yeah. 10, 10 blacktop. years ago. The blacktop, I can't remember, but... Uh, well, I can't. I was at the house, so I've been there 33 years, but it's been it's been 20, time, yeah. 20 25 years, anyways. Okay. And I and I have no That's idea. That's why I don't the, think there's a big base problem up here because it's, it's 
If you look at the road, it's held up pretty good. You think thirty years? Yeah. And, and you know, the that only car. thing that's out of shape is where well, the traffic truck is. This. Natural wear. But I don't know that we need to bore. Yeah. What What are we going to gain from from that? I, I'm just for lack of knowledge. I, I, I'm just trying to figure out what we're going to gain by that. If we do what Roland's saying, is chip, chip it and mix the gravel with it, then we won't have to do any of that. And if we don't have any frost heat coming up out of it, maybe we could save some money on it. Now, is there any? I don't. Did they give a price? Yeah, five thousand eight hundred. And and, there, and and how many feet does it say? I don't remember how many feet between the drills are going to be. These people aren't drilling. They're not drilling really, but the, you know, you're, they're going to drill every so many yards up the road. I mean, a couple hundred yards up the road. Yeah, and that's going to be hit or miss. Yeah. So skip that, and then just plan on uh, grinding and, and mixing the gravel with it, and then. Well, you got a good sub base right there now. I'm pretty sure you do because that road's never broke up. And the only trouble is it would like to up its floor. So yeah. if you take and put some gravel over this this year, you know, if you do, the sides broke off. You look at the sides of it and it broke off. Yeah. And it's cracked. You go for a walk and it's cracked. It's cracked, yeah. yeah. You can look down that far. So if you put um, eight inches of gravel in the middle, you're going to have a foot on the outside. And then have your grinder come along and grind that. You're going to have a good Grind, grind up the concrete at all? Grind, the grind okay. the blacktop and the gravel right. right together. Now, are you saying all of the blacktop? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, don't we have to know how thick the blacktop is? Well, it's probably five or six inches deep. Well, I'm telling you that will, that will tell you when you do your culverts. Yeah. yeah. But you put, in the, you put in the contract, you put in the bed, you just want everything grinded. The, the gravel, they can go down 18 inches. Yeah, once you grind that stuff, you've got some wicked material. Oh, you've got, oh, that'd be the best road. <laughs> no, really, it does. Just put those toes on it. it you know, I, I've <laughs> never, I've never done the gravel and the blacktop together, but I've been told in the seminars we went to and classes we went to that that's the way to do it. And they showed us some pictures between this and that. that I think St. Albans does it, don't they? Oh, I Shelburne? can't. We have Shelburne. Shelburne. No, Shelburne. Shelburne don't. I know what Shelburne does. I'll tell you later what Shelburne does. <laughs> Mark, do you, do you think we should have Summit Engineering go ahead and do this, or do you think we're fine skipping that and doing, doing as these guys are talking about? What do you think is the best way to proceed? Well, Go back to every driveway. I would say I, I think it should be without basis before we add gravel. We can't afford to. What is, what is the price tag on gravel now? Ron had that, but it's not in here. Yes, like, but, but one of my emails from like a month ago, and it's like buried in 2000. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, mm -hmm. but when we left that road up, you know, or whatever, on every driveway we come across, it's going to be. You know, but you'll have a good road and you got a little work to put the gravel in the dooryards it's not a big deal now from the four corners oh, down what wait, wait wait i didn't hear you what'd you say mark Yeah. But it hasn't been, you know, it hasn't been maintained the way it should have been because it's hard to have the money to do that. You know, up my way, Mark, they did put gravel in there because Kenny put uh, fabric up through there. And I want to say it's pretty yeah, good. Down, right, right from the bottom of Hartscabble Hill, way to, up to uh, the corner. I think I think Andrew drained that and put in fabric. 
So when you say that, that's what you're you're calling it a French green, what I call French green, where you put pour stone in and then the fabric on top. No, they put pipe in there. Remember that pipe we see where the culverts were all covered up with the you tried to get that brush out of yeah, front of the culvert? Yeah. yeah. Well there was an under drain right there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. they did. They okay. put a pipe, yeah, right. a pipe in there and then yeah. they run it out to the edge of the rope. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they get to the bottom of the bore we ain't no bore. So I don't, what, I don't well, see I was make a suggestion that we table it and we see what we find when we do the cold. I, 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 I think there's a good base there. I really do. And I really wasn't clear until right now that it had been 30 years on that road. So, and then the upgrade that you talked about all the culverts with the, this year. What's that? We're doing all the culverts no. this year. No, we're just doing no. up till we just eight, we're talking like, half. Was it 18 right? of them? Yeah, I think that's right. It's up to four corners. It's yeah. up to four corners. Yeah. Yeah. That's where we left off last time. And it was the time that we were, you know, going. You know. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, we probably yeah. Want to get to well, we could go above Gowan's old place anyway, because that's on our hydraulic study. Yeah. Right. So we cut off there. So I'm still then, do we, do we need, even if we table it, do we need summit engineering at all, or are we going to I would say no. go for it? Mark, what do you think? Go for it. Okay. <laughs> Save a little money over there. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. yeah, no, no, that makes, that makes, um, if that road was all heat in the spring of the year, like Dave said, it don't. I mean, there it does it oh. right there. You know what? We, we, get, we got to vote on this. Yes, side. yes, we have to vote on that. But I've just since we have Mark on the phone, is is there any other road stuff we need to talk to him about? Davis, Davis Road. Yes. Have you been up to the Davis Hill Road? Did they do what? Uh, Alistair Road also, or Richardson Road? I'm um, not sure if you get it or not. So what's going on on Cricket Hill? I, I saw the patchwork, but there's still some pretty good sized uh, areas washed uh, from the ruts in the road from the rain. There's still right right up there by my turn, it's still pretty significant. Yeah, I'll look at it tomorrow. Okay. Okay, anything else? We're good? Did you, um, yeah. you're gonna bring that you gonna bring that box up there tomorrow, you said Mark? That the box that we're downstairs or that person up there? Oh, it must be still up, up on top of it. I didn't. I didn't go up to look at it before I came in. Oh, so. the border box, you mean? Yeah. I wanna. I wanna get hopping on getting that. Uh, what I wanna do is just look at the base of it. I'm hoping there's like some holes in the bottom of the legs, and I wanna put a, make a template for that, and then um, put some anchor bolts into the concrete so it won't go anywhere. Yeah. So uh, I wanna. I wanna take a piece of cardboard or whatever, and I'll make a. Make a template for it, and then uh, we can get that set in place. And but I want to see what it looks like too. So, but um, that's no. Uh, Ron promised me he was going to help pour that concrete. And I'm going to hold him to it. It's only a third of a yard, maybe at that. So, <laughs> buy it. We are. I'll take my mixer bring it down here. We'll see what, it looks like what, a, what about the soil separator? And the soil, so what we what we're wanting to do is, um, Mark, did you hear what we got for a bit on uh, for the concrete work up there in the garage? No. Um, we got one bid, and it was a mixture of two two contractors, and it was uh, twenty thousand dollars. And I believe that uh, we, meaning myself and uh, um, some of the board members, maybe here and 
uh, the road crew can get that uh, uh, done for a lot cheaper. And it would, in, it would entail... <laughs> was, was that wild enthusiasm on your part, Mark? <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking at the list. It's done for winter. Okay, right. <laughs> yep, the oil separator yeah. means a big fine, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's we right. You got to how... how we're being I, I'm not, I, yeah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not concerned about that. Is right. It's just you're, you can get so many things done and people on vacations and everything. So volunteering the road crew into pouring cement may be may be a good plan or not. I don't. I don't know. All that day work. Yeah. Right. Right. But then something else doesn't get done. So it's just. Well, you can't. You can't go with that because if we have another belly washer. Remember that. Make a plan and stick to it. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds like you're going to be concrete people, Mark. <laughs> um, okay. We need anything else for Mark? Or you got anything for us? Nope. Everybody good? Yep. Okay. We're good. We just need to, Mark, if you want to, if you want to leave, that's fine. We'll Oh, Mark, one oh, more yeah. thing. There you go. <laughs> you're, still, you're still there, Mark? Yeah. Did you get an answer to your FEMA money? No, I got to talk to Allie about it. Try to figure out when it comes in and try to put a spot where to go. Okay, no, I'll, I'll talk to the board here tonight on that. Okay. Okay. Okay, super. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yep. See you, Mark. Well, let's see. Okay, what I need is a motion on the, to accept the. I'll, I'll make the motion. The only, the only thing I want to throw in here first. Okay. I didn't see nothing. When are they going to start this, and when is it going to be done, boy? Well, that should be in the contract. Well, I didn't see it. Let me bury this. I'll see if I can find it. I didn't see the contract, but but no one held things has happened in the past in this town. We're going to have a start date and a finish date and, right. and, and a clause. There, there is. There is. Yeah. I just got to find yeah. it in yeah. here amongst I, the 20,000 emails. Yeah. Yeah. You want a clause if it's not, they can pay so much. Starting date and a finishing date. Yeah. It ain't me. Well, this ain't a contract. I don't know, but this is. Uh, Looking at these bids, but I don't say nothing. No, because when you look at the bid, they're assuming we're looking at the contract. Right. And I didn't, uh, don't remember. When that contracts come over my phone, they're so small. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I can blow it up. Then you're, that phone. Yeah. <laughs> you can blow it up, but. Then yeah, but then you're, you're reading like two words at a time, yeah. knowing what you can't, you can't do it. Right? Yeah. Some no. stuff now I just say, okay, I'll open it up, go in and do an afternoon on the desktop and read all that stuff. I would need to try to find it here. Show you what I run against. So we won't wait until we find the contract because we need to. We definitely need to do this tonight. Well, Brian, Brian said it's in the contract. It's in the contract. I just yeah, yeah to, okay. Wanted to know when and when they were going to start. And... So for my nothing to do with this, I guess. Kind of up. So for my knowledge, they're going to dig it up, compact it, put the put the cover in. Put gravel on it. It's going to be left this year, or is it going to be gravel from there all the way down to more town line? No, no, no it's base. Sure. It's going to be, you're going to put the black on put the culverts in. Yeah. And then they're going to come along. I don't know what's going to end up, if the gravel is going to end up and on top of the black top, and then they'll come in and we'll get somebody to come in and grind it. And then after that, they'll be 
black top the base put on it this year. Okay. Bye. Hutchins fit is just to replace the culverts. Right. Right. Paint it. Put gravel on top of right. it. Right. Right. Done. Done. Okay. And then we're in the next couple weeks here, we're gonna to have to get on to the reclaiming once we figure out right. who gets all, the bid. All and the when they can on get on to it, when they can get it done. And then the, the town anticipates issuing a notice to proceed soon thereafter, which will begin uh, the 90 day contract period to complete all work. And then um, but that was just on one, yeah. one year. Could we, could we do something? Could we take a couple of these smaller bids and get a hold of the Hutchins tomorrow and see when they could start and see how long it would take them? I know, I'd say for $10,000 bid, different, or $8,000 between the two bidders, right? Well, no, Menashe is sixty-five, six seventy. Oh, thirty thousand dollars. Well, that's the top and the bottom. The ten minutes going up. One forty-five, oh, one ten-one. That fifteen thousand, yeah. But the thing is, can they get on to it in a week or two, or they get on to a week or two, or you know, where are they? I think they're in the bed. They did it. Everybody knew what the bid was. Yeah, so once we accept it, then we're going to tell them, and that starts 90 days to get it done. I think, right? That's what I don't understand. I don't understand. Yeah, I just didn't take the okay. advantage yeah. of three, two, three pages. Wrong, sir. <laughs> yeah. Because Lamoille because is the next bed. What's that? Lamoille is the next lowest bed. It is, yeah. 54. Okay, it says right here on the schedule, the contractor shall commence the work covered by the contract on the date of uh, issuance of the notice to proceed and shall complete the same within 90 days, unless uh, the period of completion is extended by contract change order. Uh, contract work Time will be 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, uh, with road closure from 7 to 6 p.m. 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. So there's, there's once it's once we submit it, boom, there to start on it needs to be done in 90 days. Yeah. So July 20, August 20, September, October. Now again, that if they did go that full 90, that gives somebody plenty of time to, to grind up through there. But I think if we reach out to them, they should be able to give us a projection of when uh, when they thought they'd be able to start. I call that right now. Go on. That wouldn't hurt. Give me a chance to go to the news about Because then I, once once we get through that part, then we still got to do a bid for Right. Right. Okay. We can be working on that and let that out. But I don't want to leave to a conclusion, this, but you think I, we would probably get I it. I agree there's a good base up there. I, I have no problem on that. But I would, it's up to everybody else, but I'd like a piece of gravel on that just to bring that shoulder up. That shoulder's dropped off that much. It ain't too much. To, some of them door yards take a little gravel. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. How are you doing? Hey, uh, Ed, I got you on speakerphone. We're here at the uh, Hyde Park Select Board meeting. Okay. And we've got uh, four of the five members with us. And okay. and like I told you today, you, you came in a uh, little bitter on okay. this. Our question is, uh, I know the the bid says you've got 90 days from the day you receive the contract for completion. Yeah. We're kind of strapped because we've got to do some, some grinding and stuff after that. When do you yeah. think you can get on this job? Uh, right now, I would say you can get after that thing. Uh, waiting to take it tomorrow, it's probably two weeks to have it done. So, but I'm thinking uh, probably uh, mid August. 
Okay, that's, that, that, that's a fair answer. Uh, okay, so uh, I guess we're going to we're going to vote your uh, we're going to vote your contract. Yeah. Okay, we're, yeah. we're going to we're going to accept your bid. We're going to vote it in tonight, and you'll be receiving the paperwork. Well, we're going to get four A's right now. Perfect. <laughs> All right, perfect. Do they have a grinder? Okay. Hey, do, uh, do you have a grinder? Ed? For, for the actual? Yes. We do not. No. You do not? Okay, because that's no, going to be... We, we have to cut that out. We need to, but we don't do it ourselves. Okay, but okay, keep your eyes open because another bit is going to come in right after this. Okay, I, I appreciate Great. that. Thanks. Right. Yeah, th right. thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, goodbye. Let me be fair enough. Middle middle of August in two weeks. Yeah. 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 Okay, so now we need a motion. I make a motion that we set Jay Hudson's uh, bid to replace the culverts on the center road for a price not to exceed forty five thousand one hundred and twenty one dollars. Second. Okay. Any more conversation? And this is just going up to the corners. No, this is right. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. As stated on the right. <laughs> okay. And to this day, I don't know if I'm talking Ed Gandu or Ed Blondin, but they're both. both <laughs> 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 that, that makes it easy, doesn't it? Okay. okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. So, so, so somebody, it was generally just wrong. Ron will send Jay Hutchins the contact the uh, yeah uh, whatever it is but okay. now he knows so okay. that seems and, and again the middle he's... August you're you're at twentieth now so another month and yeah. then we'll work on getting that bid out for the, the rest the of it. yeah I, I put the I put the bid out for the reclaim before he got the job done just so oh yeah people yeah. definitely get things rolling to one right after right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 okay. Um, Definitely. All right. Can I take care of all our paving stuff? Really? So uh, got, I'll go um, on. I'll take it for another business. Okay. Three weeks. Another? Okay. Well, let me, because I know we got, um, um, we have somebody on the phone waiting for the Dion Valley Hall Committee. <clears throat> Hi. that? Hey there, how are you? Hanging in there? Good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And you guys, we. Oh. Did you get a look at that right now? I did. I didn't get to talk to nobody. Okay. Um, I still knocked on that door, the one you told me. Okay. All right. Are ready? <laughs> Have you guys, did you guys read the what they want to do? They're, they're submitting a uh, a cultural facilities grant. Um, and um, obviously, because we own the building, um, <laughs> we need to we need to sign a letter of support, and uh, which is just supporting them applying for the you know for the grant. And what they're looking at doing with the grant, because remember we have um, there's seventeen thousand five hundred dollars that they have for whatever they're doing stuff. And we have encouraged them to find, you know, matching grants. Um, uh, Liz, do you guys, do you have a list of your, pri well, I'll, I'll, I'll ask you about, I'm, I wanna know if you have a list of your priorities because what they currently are asking for um, is, uh, and, and the facilities grant is a dollar for dollar match, okay? so. Um, they're looking for $10,000 to install two energy efficient heat pumps that allow us to use the building for the, in the fall and the spring. And uh, $12,000 to upgrade the electrical system for fire and safety repair, repairs required by the state fire marshal. Um, and to accommodate the, the heat pumps and obviously someday to put some lighting up there. So of their 17.5, that would they're looking for uh, of course they're the 22 they're using eleven thousand dollars to do the 50 percent match 
But then they have down below that, they want to do $6,500 for new first floor windows to improve the installation. Um, the reason the windows aren't included in the cultural facilities grant is they do not allow um, those sorts of structural improvements in the scope of, of repairs and um, improvements for, for this particular grant. Right. Um, I, I'd like to... I'd like to see a copy of your grant. Um, the last project that we did up there, and I'm concerned about um, you, even if you haven't, even if it isn't involved in the grant, like with the windows, because last time around, there were some real questions about the work and the quality of the work, and then it was over. Um, and I understand these, I think the cultural facilities grants work on the um, if, if they award it to you, they don't send you the money, you spend the money and then they, you send them the bills and you get the money for it, right? Correct, right. So we're not locked in right now to whichever contractor we're choosing, but we did speak to a number of contractors so that we at least have estimates in hand that we can submit with the grant application so that the, the, the financials that we have in there are based on actual estimates. Okay. Andy, do you have, um, I guess I'd call it, did you, I, I seem to me recalling, and I can't remember whether it was a town meeting or a meeting after that, that we talked about, you have sort of a list of your priorities and how you want to do it, because I can see um, a lot of times when there's a lot of demands on grants from the state, you may ask for $12,000 and uh, you'll get $6,000. So, um, yeah. so if if that were to happen, what's the priority of what the, of the things that you would do? So I guess what I, if if you could um, uh, let's see, Ron's up. If you could email, I'd like to see the grant. I, I'm I'm comfortable doing a letter supporting it. I'm not comfortable committing all the money that you're. I, I'm comfortable with the match but I'm not comfortable saying you should spend the rest of the money. I think you need to leave plenty of money there because the costs were, well, I just, <laughs> the, the roof was a little rocky road as yeah. it were and getting things cleaned up around it. So I wanna yeah. make sure that, uh, that we leave plenty of money so that I, I think, you know, getting the, Getting the heat pumps and the and the electrical system done, um, you know that that certainly seems those seem to be the next things you need to do. But um, I'm and that I realize that's what you're writing the grant for. But I yeah. I would I would not be supportive of assuming you're going to do windows this year. Well, I can share with you. We have a a working draft of a facilities improvement priorities plan, which okay. outlines yep. all of these things. So I'm, I'm happy to share that with you. But I yeah, think we, be great. we can certainly be flexible. We've been thinking about the windows as being something that we would like to do this year, assuming the budget remains to do it. Um, if the scope of doing the heat pumps and the electrical system for whatever reason comes in a little bit higher, we could postpone doing the windows. We could do just some of the windows. Um, I don't think we wanna spend that money until we know if we're getting the grant. Um, and if they come, if the, the grant, if they decide to not award us the full amount, let's say they decide we'll give you half, we could certainly right. do the electrical system and that sort of creates the foundation for then doing the, the heat pumps the following year. And there are other grants we've looked at that we could apply for next year um, that are a part of this same um, building communities grant program. Okay, that you can, yeah. You can only apply um, to one within a fiscal year. So we've, okay. chosen, we've yeah. chosen the cultural facilities grant because it seems like the best fit for our project. We have a good relationship with people at the Vermont Arts Council, like Greg Powis and Michelle Bailey, um, they've been coaching us along the way. So we feel like our odds of getting that grant okay. are really high. Um, yep. But, you know, if we, if we don't get it or if we only get part of it, 
um, even if we do get the whole thing, we want to apply for this other um, building communities grant through one of the other programs next year to continue doing the work or do whatever work right. we aren't able to do this year. Yeah, I, I agree with, with Sue about, about watching the money because if you want to go back and look at the minutes of the last town meeting, when you guys up there gave your speech, you said if the town would appropriate that $17,100 this year, you would not be asking for any more money next year. Yeah, I mean, the idea is we are going to be able to do more of our own fundraising. Right, so next right. year, if we go after another grant next year and we need to match it, first of all, it'll probably be for a smaller amount. So maybe it's you know, six to ten thousand dollars, and we only need to raise three to five thousand dollars. Our intention is to do fundraising campaign to raise that money. So it's not coming from the taxpayers; it's coming from anyone who's supportive of the project. Right, and and again, I think all the more reason to and and I know um, has somebody like Efficiency Vermont come in? To, I <laughs> I always know lots of times people go with windows and they think investing in windows is going to help keep them warm and it's probably one of the lowest things on the list of of helping you preserve you know a lot a lot more ceiling of a of a basement or an attic or that kind of thing tends to be um, a, a much better dollar investment for efficiency plus again I don't know with particularly with cultural buildings if efficiency Vermont might come in and do some you know and have some good have some good programs um other yeah, than windows we did meet yeah. with them um a few weeks ago um i wasn't there for that meeting but i think they met with mary waltz and i think possibly with al spitzer as well um so they had some recommendations for us and, and we've also planned to use so there are some small projects that we would like to do this year that we can use our existing thirty five hundred dollar um maintenance budget to work on so yeah. things like yeah. buying new um you know sweepers for the doors so that the air isn't flowing out to the bottom of the doors and sealing up some of the windows sealing up the windows in the basement so there's, there's some low cost diy stuff that we're planning to do that wouldn't require any additional right. budget right okay okay um can you i must have your email someplace if you don't have my email could you just email me a copy of the of the grant just so i can see it and where yeah. And um, happy, happy to sign a letter of you know supporting you applying for the grant. And then I assume if you get the grant, you then go out to bid on the electrical work. Correct. Yeah. So we have we have estimates right now. We I think we spoke to like four or five different electricians, and we spoke to four or five different um, people who could do the heating system. And we are submitting two of estimates from each of those along with our grant application. Okay. okay right. We just. Just for the town today, we went through, we had out bids and bids came in and it's pretty different between here's an estimate and then when the bids come in, there can be quite a range in the bids. So it's definitely, um, yeah. again, if you get it, we're gonna, and, and Ron, Ron can help you guys do that, figure out how to go out and do the bids properly and, um, and, and get a few people to look at it so we, so we avoid the problems that we had last time. Yes, agreed. Yes, I recognize that last time we rushed the process a little bit because yeah. like winter was coming and we had just gotten the deed and so there was a lot of stuff working against us, but I think we're really ahead of the game this time. Yeah, we're, we, we live and learn here, hopefully, Liz. Um, anybody have any more questions? for? Uh, let's see, I'll need to get you a copy of the letter, right? Yes, mm -hmm. and we need to submit this next Monday, the 27th, so if you can get it to me this week, that'd be excellent yep okay no problem super any more questions for liz no i i had one other item that was also in the memo okay um, yep the other thing that we're eager to do is to get wi-fi set up for the building um okay. it's been impossible for us to have committee meetings there even as a very small group sitting far apart from each other like i'm sure you guys are doing right now because we can't um connect the outside world to our meetings for open meeting law um, we also have found any events that we have done there, you can't even get a cell phone signal at the building. So we're just really limited in what we can do without having Wi-Fi. Um, and we also see it being as something we can advertise to the local community, as it being a Wi-Fi hotspot. We know a lot of people are working from home and trying to go to school from home yeah. and really struggling to get 
internet access and what's great about the building being right there on the Route 100 corridor is we could hook up broadband internet access from Comcast, which would be lightning fast and I think really valuable. Um, so I have priced that out. It would be about $1,500 for the whole year. Um, they would waive the installation fee. So um, that would could come out of our $3,500 maintenance budget. Right. I wanted to see if we right. get your blessing for that. I think, I think that makes a lot of sense. So, whoa, boy, we don't, you can't live without Wi-Fi anymore. For better or for worse. <laughs> Dave's not sure if it's going to catch on. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and talk with Comcast. See what okay, they can do for you. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Um, I don't think so. So I'll send you this um, facility improvement priorities document. The grant itself yeah. isn't really. I'll send you what I can. It's an online form that I've been filling out, so it's like a little gotcha. bit hard. Okay. Hard to share. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely share it and would love any feedback that you have on what we have. Okay. Okay, super. Great. Thanks a lot, Liz. Thank you, everyone. Good job. Have a good okay, evening. Have a good evening. Yep. Great. Thanks a lot, Liz. Nice job. Thank you, everyone. Okay, have a good evening. Thanks. Yep. Um, okay, everybody look at the minutes. We need to review the, oh, we need to, I think actually for signing the um, the letter, I'm not quite sure. I guess we need a motion to give me the authority to sign it, even though I think we may have already done that, but Ron left it for me anyway, letter, for supporting them applying for the grant. So moved. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay, anybody abstaining? Okay. Ah, let me see. All the uh, all the minutes. I like I like a lot of them because we had a special meeting and we went into executive yeah. session and then we came out of executive uh, session minutes. and then we adjourned and said, okay, those are all right. We can we can do those. <clears throat> so everybody's okay. We just moved to approve the minutes. Well, let me see. We got six fifteen, six twenty nine, seven ten. 714 and 716. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Reviewing the town orders. Yeah. <laughs> we had we had bunches of, of them in the I would alley had, you know, just getting caught up on the closing the end of the year and everything. But right now, we don't seem to have anything. No, but. No. <laughs> it's like, okay. You want the table out? Well, I guess we will. Um, Mark other, it on the calendar. Other, let's see. The uh, other business and notice was Eden Street closure. Yeah, so you went, you talked to, you and Brickett talked, right? So what was the? Well, <laughs> I think what Brickett was telling me, he was kind of more complaining about the state road. I mean, with the speed coming up from the roundabout, which is 40 miles an hour. Yeah. Coming out of that road is dangerous. And Oh, yeah, you're right across it, right? They both become. And my wife has always said, I haven't noticed it, but my wife has noticed it over the last few years that the roundabout is there. She said the traffic, and now I'm paying attention to it. She's right. The traffic comes up through there faster now than they did before, and it's 40 miles an hour. They're doing 55 by the time they reach Fitch Hill or Eden Street, you know. Um, I don't think that's going to take care of their problem down through there. I mean, I've gone down through there and come up through there since this all begun. And by the time I get going 35 miles an hour, which I can do it down through there, I got to get onto the brakes. <laughs> you know, it's 25 is 
the speed limits, that's what it is down there. There's 25. Well, if you drove a Toyota, then you could do 50. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but, it, but I think but, you also, I mean, they're concerned with just having the traffic coming through, period. If you, obviously, if you made that a dead end, they wouldn't have any free traffic. But I don't think you could. No. Well, but I'm particularly this, because I think well, this that year gets, with the... Well, once that right gets out, that. Susan, you're going to have other streets. Looking dead in, especially dead end streets. Yeah. I, I would need more inclined to it. To put a dead end street than, than a street. I mean, you're probably the biggest advocate of all, so that you want to get high park going, revitalize high park. Right. Why, why would you want to choke off the road going into high park? You want to revitalize. Well, part of the complaint is that there are so many roads into Hyde Park that it's not a clear how you market it. I mean, that's just habitually has been what people in the village have said. There are so many ways in and out of Hyde Park that if you really want to do something, you sort of want to funnel people through at least a few roads instead of, well, we figure we got seven. <laughs> yeah, I think there's seven roads coming in. Though. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, and that that's just sort of habitually what, if, if you want to sort of try to focus things, that's that's what you do. Um, but it also seems to me, you know, when we did the Seven. better connections. Yeah. Right? McMahon's. Yeah. Coming in by uh, more sound corners. Eden Street. Uh, that street there, where it's uh, Center Street, Center Road Street. I parked here. That's around the bell. Right. Uh, Black Road. And, and the... And the other one that goes and, and, and yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. 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 <laughs> I know it's amazing. It's like you know, every block well, has their own road coming I, out. I, I'm definitely gonna <laughs> not gonna be for it because yeah. for one reason my sewer system goes out through that field and that's a state land and somebody's gonna have to build a turnaround there if you shut that down in the wintertime. And I don't need no trouble down there because somebody's going to have to build a turnaround. Yeah. Right. And then you build a turnaround. Next thing you know, a truck's down over the bank. You've got to get this in there and that in there. It's going to be bad enough for me this year. And my wife, with, with them going to run the water pipe down through there. That's where it goes right out through there. And they're going to go underneath it. And they're reason. going underneath. Yeah, I was wondering how, how, how does that work with your pipe? How are they taking the water? Is it right down? Is it next to yours? Is it? Yeah, is it? because mine goes right across the state road. Like, right. We're growing underneath the state road and it goes out through that field. That state owns that land. That corner of that land, the yep. state owns yep. it. Well, I went through a lot of stuff we did to, to get a permit to go across state land. I mean, it took us a year to do this. And then I finally got the okay and I brought it all the way from our house down to the cross the state road and went right down through to the manhole. And he got me a 1% grade down through there. And, you know, um, I don't need. What does everybody else, are they on? They're on their own sewer systems. And, and okay. mine was mine was failing. Okay. And I see it one year in the spring of the year start to come to the top of the ground. And I said, Shelly, we got to do something. So, we got a price on a mountain system for another five thousand dollars. I could go and go underneath the road and go down to the village. So that's what we that's, choose okay. to do. That's why you went through. Okay. You know, and so uh, everybody up there is on their own systems. Everybody up there is on their own system, and that's why I said back when they were doing this job, why don't they think about that? And they're going to do the water pipe down through there. Why don't they put another sewer pipe down through there? Because someday, these villages are all going to have to be on village sewers before it gets done. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're pressing that. I think my, the, 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 my, my vote would be no because it sets precedence. If, if, if we did that, how many other people could come and say, Oh, listen, definitely. I want my vote, but I want to maintain it. And we'll say no, and they'll say, how come? How about parkers down there? That's going to set a lot more traffic down there. Yeah. 
and it's going to send a lot more traffic to other places. You know, I think. I don't. Well, I, I, it's it's a, a, I don't. I, it would be interesting to do a count because I really don't do know that. how how heavily trafficked right. that road is as as compared to against Centerville. That I can, you know, I mean, all of that's a steady stream going across down there and right by Parker's and you know past the fire station. And I wouldn't think. And and again, as the traffic's become faster and faster um, uh, with the roundabout, I would think there are probably fewer cars on Eaton Street just because it's more difficult. It's easier It's easier to go, particularly if you're going out to the main road, whether you're going to Johnson or it's easier to go one of the other ways. It's easier to go down coming up the fire station. Yeah. But would we'll send more traffic. What if we put a counter up there? Well, that's what I was going to say. Know, uh, LCPC will put a counter yeah. for you yeah. on all these roads. Uh, well, I think we, we may have, um, you know, we were saying that we did some with the uh, with the better connections and the cars. Um, oh yeah, we'll ask Ron when he gets back because we did that because we did we did cast. We were curious on Church Street and just the variety of streets, how much traffic oh, yeah. there were, and and. Coming off the, I mean, obviously the roundabout is the big one. Yeah. You know, you stuff like you know what? What we yeah. should do, yeah. just for feedback, we should just put something out there and see if people would respond to it if that road was shut down. You know. Well, that's why. Are. What you can, you know, you can always do temporary things. Yeah. You can say, and you know, you can you can notice it. Jersey you can say, Yeah, yeah. Do Jersey barriers and say we're just we want to try some different. Different traffic then patterns get your in the village. Out. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. then that's exactly why you can do those. You know, you do those. Well, I don't think things. that would be accurate this year with what's going on. No, that's right. I think you gotta. We gotta get all the they all the water system the done. Right. Shooting everywhere where right. nobody else is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's there's nothing going on sane this year yeah. any place in the world. <laughs> yeah. okay. But you're right. I'll, ch I'll check. I'll, I there was some counting done. I'll find I, out. I think a counter would be the yeah. way to go. I would put a counter up on three roads, if they, if they would, or four. Put one down by Dale's, put one down there by Chan Packers yeah. on that street, and then put one on Eden Street, and put one on the, where the post office is. Yeah. Yeah. Put and, four and counters again, I, on. We don't care about 10 yeah, no, no. I, I think we actually have some of that. But I'll we'll check. When Ryan gets back, I'll look. Because as part of Better Connections, I we did we've some. Done that on yeah, Church Street yeah, we've certainly done Church Street because that number was amazing. Yeah, I think we've done Ben Ben's road because yeah. there are yeah. okay. numbers. Okay, okay, I'll put that on my list and we'll and we'll find out. Um, the uh, oh, okay, the John, the little the little piece of land up on the Centerville Road. Just so you know, the town attorney's working with that, so we'll get that yeah. technically taken care of, right? Um, traffic limits suggested for speed limit studies in addition to Cricket Hill, the North Hyde Park Road, and Ferry Street. It sort of goes in getting the that's up North Hyde Park Road, up by the fire station. No, that's by Bordeaux. Yeah, you get how, about the that one, how about that one up there by the state road? Remember by Roberts, we talked about before the fire station to see if we can reduce that speed down to 25 back up the road. Oh yeah, further up the road, right. Yeah, that'd be a you have to go to the state. No. Nope. Yeah. No, nope. as long as it's still in the town yeah. limits. No. Yep. No. No. That <laughs> was, that's what Ron said too. No, because Chauvin, Ray Chauvin wanted to change the, the speed limit there because of Hope Joe's in school. School bus stopping and kids stopping. And they came to us, and Ron's answer was yeah. very show then, and we can't do it because it's a state yeah. road. Remember, we talked about that. Wait, are we on the same roads? We're on, yeah, we're Route, on the state road Route by Roberts, by North Hyde Park. North Hyde Park. North Hyde Park. Okay, right, okay, right, all right. I and as long as I, the way I understood it, as long as it was in the town of Hyde Park, they would. Look at it and see if they could do that. No, the state would have to look at it. Yeah, it's a state road. 
If you want your mentality, Eden could say, okay, we want 25 miles an hour. And Moe could say, we get 25 miles an hour. And Troy could say, we want 25 miles an hour. That's a state. Well, I don't think all we're doing is asking them just to put the 25 miles an hour. Yeah, I know we're asking, but it's still a state. Right, but we got to ask the state to do it. Yeah. Okay. Whatever we got to do. Okay. And what, what was the problem when they wanted that way? One person that lives out there in that development where Brent lives said that traffic comes down through there too fast. And then I got looking at it and she called and I, I walked down through there all the time. And I think she's right. I can't even believe that the fire department wouldn't yeah, want it 25 miles an hour to get back up the road before it got to them because it's after the fire station before it turns into 25. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, that's the, that's the road that you go if you can slow the traffic down a little bit for the fire coming down there. Now, I, uh, had a meeting with Captain Marley over at the Sheriff's Department and asked him to monitor Center Road, North High Track Road, Sharfield Road. Anyway, well, I got an ornament sitting on the front lawn right now. Yeah. You'd be surprised how much that well, little machine right sl yep. slows traffic down. Yep. Oh, it does. Yep. They had the state had it up there. By um, um, the fire station just down, what's his name? Ward, Rudy Ward. Yeah. yeah, they had it down there, and they've got a blue light on there. Yeah, <laughs> I can tell you that gets your attention. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 And also, they were concerned about Cricket Hill because I think what really spurred the whole thing was uh, the, cons uh, the complaint from uh, right how fast from, from, from using the trails, yeah. Yeah. right? Folks using the yeah. trails and how fast. Right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's like we said the other day. All these back roads, you could post at thirty-five miles an hour, but you have to post them all. Cricket Hill is at twenty-five. Down around that corner by your place. Well, at each end of the road, yeah. so Cricket Hill is posted at twenty-five. Now, when, okay. when Ron gets back, we are looking at the, because I think we do $5,000 a year on signs, I think is what we spend. And we've got a whole list of here are the, the additional things that need to be posted. I think Ron was, we were figuring out that each sign, not counting the labor, is about a hundred and twenty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. um, Post, vote, and sign. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and then we have to have to get them up. So we spent, and yeah. I think part is is are the nine one one signs part of that too? Uh, I thought it was no. different. That's separate. Yeah, yeah. That's a separate. That's separate. Right. You don't need to literally to post that road. Say this, this is the, the center road. It's 45 miles an hour, but it's not posted. So people don't know. To put the signs up, do you have to put the signs up every so many feet, or do you put a sign up here and then where it comes on the road at uh, Cleveland Corner, you have to put another sign there? Yep. Yeah. So every time another road intersects that main road, they have to be speed signs. Right. right. Yeah. And you have to, like coming off the 25 mile an hour down yeah. by the yeah. by the marshal, right. it has to be reduced speed by the right. sign. If that is not done, then it don't stand up in the court. Okay. Now, how many feet do you got between reduced speed and? Oh, if no, you we posted don't. that. If you posted, no, we don't worry about that. We're not reducing speed. You be what? We're not reducing speed because we're coming off 25 mile an hour into a 45 mile an hour. Yes. All right. You're right. Because you're going to hike back, hike back, they're coming. You got to come in. Yeah. The other, right, way. the other way. Yeah. Okay. And there's one there. Remember that guy yeah. complained? Yeah. And I went up there and stuck one in. Yeah. Over there. Yeah. Took care of that problem. I don't know if it slowed the traffic down. <laughs> okay. Um, 
think that's it. We got, we got anything else? What about, um, are you going to start something? Or are we going to wait on that for the report from the highway? That's well, what Roger wanted me to ask. Well, yeah. Mark Frank had a bad week. And because Mark's supposed to be here this week, because we're supposed to tell him what we want to get him, so we're going to pay the last for the next night. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. He's got enough money. His family's been going through a tough time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know Brian's got one thing you want to talk about. Yeah, when, uh, when I, uh, um, well, when we were here, we got a phone call from uh, Roger. And, uh, Roger. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Okay. How's he doing though, other than getting pretty tired? He said, he, he said the strength is coming back, but it's taking time. And, uh, he, he just got out of Burlington again. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but he did, he did call. And, uh, and we actually, it was during the time we were opening the bid, or just after we got them opened. And so we were able to share with him a little bit uh, at that time. So, uh, but um, one thing was brought up was uh, uh, time cards. I guess that was something that was put in place uh, prior and it hasn't been uh, followed through on to, to get the time cards uh, uh, or electronically reporting. I know that's what uh, Ron was talking about. Is electronically reporting, they go in, they punch in, right. and when they leave, they punch out, that type of thing, and it's followed up with uh, uh, Mark uh, following up with it and make sure that it's done on a regular basis. And um, since the decision was already made in the past, we just want to make sure that it happens. And I think that's something we'll we can discuss with uh, Mark uh, French when he comes. Right, that, 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 that was going to be on the table to, to do with Mark. Not only that punching and stuff, but he's going to do a do a uh, log like the state does with the. Uh, 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 what happened? Mike, what Mike, well, that's right. Mike Briggs. Uh, Left the 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 job at seven thirty and, and worked on Jones Road. Yeah, you know, yes. so we know what everybody points. Well, I'm talking about this in Oh, yeah. The the go ahead. Well, no, it, it just we already got a report that I think that's what needs to be filled out. Yes, that's what Ron said. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. It's gonna be an active. Okay. So the other thing was, is uh, when we got here today, I didn't know if the bids were going to be opened up upstairs. I didn't know if they were going to be down here. And I tried to call in to uh, to find out just a simple question. And all I got was the voice recording saying that I had to email uh, Ken or somebody on the uh, web page to get a response back. And I think we've got to do something to for the public to be able to uh, uh, get an easier response. Like maybe answering the phone uh, and not having to go to voicemail. And uh, there was people here because of the cars that were, and Kim did come down and uh, bring us the, the bids down. And when Roger called us, he had to call the house and ask me where the hell I was. And he down here and he said, they're trying to call us. They've never answered the telephone, so he gave him a cell phone number. Can you call them the cell phone? Yeah. Okay, what well, yeah. I'm saying, if they're here, why can't they answer the cell phone? Well, you know, we have no control of the town clerk. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know, but I did forget. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we, but we do uh, the assistant. <coughs> right? When she's here every other day. No, that's all. She's under the town clerk. Is Kim here? I hear somebody moving around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. What if it's in that much of that What if I could email her and have her come down? No, well, we can't because we don't have a control. No, I was going to discuss it with her. Her concern. It right. still don't matter. What's that? Still don't matter. Let me, let me, let me, let me. I will, I will talk to Kim about. Best. Okay. <laughs> That's the best and, I can and, do. And what is the rule? And I'm not right. for no. not. What, 
by his rule, what other offices you see is open. I know by those square footage, it goes by people. Yeah, it's how many people you can you can literally manage. And and if and if him and, and Christy are here at the same time, you can get like one other person in and and be in require and meet your required spaces that you need. Because and literally the structure of it keeping constantly six plus feet apart from each other is difficult. Um, and of course, Kim is, um, you know, has health concerns. Um, it, it's hard. We it's just not a good configuration of this of the space up there. But you're right. I don't understand why the why you need to be able to get an answer for the phone. You know, I mean, if somebody's calling or something. Yeah. Just being able to. I can understand. Not being open because of this until the governor released it and just added another month for it. So. Yeah, yeah. You did? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and mostly, and he keeps doing that because that gives him certain things to be able to, that he needs to be able to keep doing. Yeah. That as soon as you release the order, you can. You know, you well, can't, if you, if you can't just ask her, help him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll put them And that comes, that comes from different people, too. And Mark Hines brought this up to me. Where does the FEMA money go? If, if we lost the roads and we did this, and right. we did, and I don't know how much money we got into FEMA. But when we get the money, where does the money go? It goes back into the general fund. Why? Could it? To yeah. replace the money that we spent. we spent, right? Because we but, okay. Let me take me down this avenue. <clears throat> Every three years, we put thirty thousand dollars into pressure, right? Okay. We put we put so many thousand dollars into the maintenance of the trucks. We put so much money and, and to run the town under normal conditions, right? FEMA. I mean, we have a belly wash like we yeah. did. Uh, Halloween, and we go up and we use 25% of that $30,000 worth of gravel we yep. crushed. Yep. So now come down the road, we're out of goddamn gravel. Mark has to go over budget to have some more made. You see what I'm saying? No, that, that money will go back to, to reimburse the gravel. That, mm -hmm. that That's why they keep track of you know, how much wear and tear you put on all the equipment, how much you spend on the gravel, how much you spend on this, how much is overtime salaries, so that when the money comes back in, you reimburse it. We, because Hyde Park is in good financial shape, we didn't have to go out and borrow money to pay those bills. Okay, so A lot of towns had to go borrow money right. to pay those bills. Okay, so come next up, next up. Uh, budget. Next budget time. Yeah. And it's thirty thousand dollars to grind gravel. Are we telling the taxpayer that we're only going to need twenty thousand dollars of your money because we've got ten thousand dollars from the payment to put in? Are we going to ask the taxpayer for thirty thousand dollars? You'd ask taxpayers for thirty thousand yeah, dollars. Where, where did that payment money go? It, it, it's right now it's in a hole. Okay. See, if we had had the right now, basically the town has lent money, our cash reserves that we have. To all these different accounts to pay the mm -hmm. bills. When FEMA comes back in, basically what happened is those yeah. those accounts will repay us. The FEMA money will repay the accounts that we have emptied. So it's so it basically, if you're lucky, it's all a wash. Right. Okay. So that you don't I end up with a whole. Understand. All this overtime that I just put. Yeah. And FEMA will pay for that. Okay, right. but where's the money go when you get the thing? It does not go back to no. reduce the. Uh, no, no, because you're not reducing it because it's this year's budget. You've already overspent. What FEMA's money doing is giving you the money that you've already spent. But, this isn't new money. This is money we've already spent. Okay, then, then why did we go over for budget? When we get a budget report, why are we over budget on 
Well, because we haven't got the FEMA money yet. No, I ain't answering. So what, what I believe you're saying is, is that uh, you're taking the resource, you're taking the gravel, fresh gravel, and you're utilizing it for the FEMA disaster or... Well, we're using it for our roads. Exactly. But all that should be reimbursed so we can get more gravel. Right. Because we didn't uh, allow for it in the first place. Right. We didn't allow for the disaster to happen. And so what I think you're saying is, is that uh, there should be some of that portion of that human money that can be put towards the grinding to replace what was used for the right. disaster. But you first of all have to fill all your holes because FEMA doesn't reimburse you 100%. Okay, so if, if we had, if we had, make the math easy, if we had 100 hours overtime, they may pay us for 85 hours overtime. So we're still going, that no. event is going to have cost us extra money. So the FEMA is more like an okay. insurance. Yeah, it's not, they, they don't, they don't cover you 100%. It's like because because it, deductible. But I've never yeah. seen no deductible on, on, on the budget. I've never seen anything deductible. It, it's right. It, if we had 100 hours overtime, come right. June 30th, it's 100 hours overtime. That we take the taxpayer. Where's the FEMA money go? We didn't ask the taxpayers for any more money. We had it budgeted. We've spent the money. No, we didn't. We didn't go with the event. We didn't have to ask for any additional money to cover the event. We did it all within our uh, within our budget. We because we have a big enough savings account in a variety of ways. So it goes back to the general fund. I so guess going it's going well. It's going back to the various departments that spent the money. Yeah, right. Do you know what the percentage is that they cover? Well, yeah, they, we, we got, because we've got done all our homework and have all the right policies, I think they're giving us 92.5%. Okay. We got the highest percent that FEMA gives. Well, you better leave that alone. <laughs> because. Oh, yeah, because it's just filling holes. It's The, the money's like all spent. They right? deduct on culverts how long they've been in and what they look like. And, the know, FEMA does. So yeah, when I look at the budget, I look at the income and the expense. There should be a line item in there for the money that FEMA gives us. Yes, and, and you'll see if you look in the alley can show you, because to get your reimbursement from FEMA, you basically set up a whole separate accounting system for FEMA. So that everything you spent and every receipt and everything is right there. So that you can in that in that sub account see here's what it is. And that's what you submit to FEMA for your reimbursement. And and it just because you submit it doesn't mean you're going to accept it. No, I understand that. Right. But you see what I'm trying to get at? If, if, if we if we spent thirty thousand dollars for cracking the gravel and we use twenty five percent of it during the flood, he don't have enough gravel to go on his budget. So and now he's gonna go over budget in his gravel. No, he shouldn't he shouldn't go over budget in his in his gravel because he's going to be reimbursed the money for the gravel. Okay, that's what I'm asking. Where is the, when does that money apply to that gravel? When, whenever they get around. Whenever the FEMA gives and it the shows money. in the budget that it, it is could, applied. It could be a year, it could be six months. But it, it shows in the budget it is applied to the gravel. Yes, yeah, it will, it will show you again because again, this FEMA with this, here's, here's what they're giving you the money for yeah. and that's where you're going to reimburse it. Here's where it is on your equipment. Here it is on your overtime. How much the budget is? It's about what? Seventy-five yeah. percent that FEMA will pretty much go up yeah. to. Yeah, they'll and probably what you want to do, and and actually, be, once we get it, would be um, it'd be a good way to spend a to spend a meeting or to do a special meeting to have Allie and Ron come in mm -hmm. and Mark to be able to run through the budget so you see it that way. Right. But that's not usually how. Obviously, not usually how we look at it. But, uh, but you can see where it goes. Yeah, yeah. The same thing with the office upstairs. When these girls aren't working, they're on FEMA money. Right? And the girls? I'm not FEMA working on COVID money. Oh, I'm the COVID money. COVID money. Right? Well, no, could be. no, not. Could be. 
Not necessarily. That's a gray area. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, not necessarily. They don't even know if they're going to do any COVID money yet. Yeah. Nobody's come out and said it. They're still negotiating about it, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got no idea what's going to happen with that. Nobody knows yet. Well, as far as I heard the last thing, they didn't know what. So, so, she don't work for us. Her sister don't work for us. The Allie works for us. Yes. Allie and, and Ron And she's getting full pay from the town, and we're not getting any COVID money back on it? Well, you don't know. I, I don't know. Know that you can answer that, right? Because okay. just because people are working at home doesn't mean you're right. Just tracking it. I think Ron said he was tracking it. That's all he said. So he was as long as he tracked it, then right. we can submit. So submit it. Hopefully, we get uh, a good. See what you get. Right. We we'll probably get forty-five, fifty percent or something like that. But it's better than nothing. Right. 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 Nobody because knows. because part of what COVID will cover is like. The cost of having to set up somebody working at home. So the cost of giving her, getting her a new laptop, getting, making sure she's got the right connections at home, all that sort of stuff. That's definitely covered. So that that doesn't cost. It's obviously costing taxpayers someplace something. But apparently, <laughs> it's not, apparently they're talking about stimulus money, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why I understood. Yeah, they're just talking. So it's who yeah, knows. Hanging up no, no, no. I no. was thinking. You know, they, no, so any how much any more money they gonna hand out? I saw them in, uh, in Washington. They were down there picking the money off the trees. And they were special yeah. gardens, right? Yeah. So anyway, so that was reimbursed back to the people that use it. Oh, okay. that'll be interesting. Definitely an yeah. interesting spell. So I think now is that everything? We can adjourn. You got anything else? I'll, I'll I'll talk to Tim when Ryan gets back. I I think we got a bunch of these counts already done on traffic. Is a I got a map. Roy, when you're up to fire department, ask them how they're coming on their nine one one signs. I haven't seen a sign go up. Yes, I've seen the whole Centerville work. They just done. They the did. Job. Oh yeah, go up to Centerville Good. tonight. Good. Good. Yep. Good. Because I got a phone call from. What's this? What's this? What's <laughs> I explained it. Oh, you ain't paying for that at no. all. It's, it's already paid for. Good. Yeah, it's already paid for. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They, they've been putting them up. I watched. Okay. Them there. They must put yours up. Yeah. Yeah. Ours yeah. Been, yeah. Just yeah. last week, we, wasn't we, it? Yeah. So is it my time, Rob, too? Ah. Well, you're in our time, aren't you? No, we're on a little private room back. So you got, I think they're doing it. Noise, yeah. No, noise farms been done. Yeah, but if, if you're... We're private. Yeah, but if your entrance on noise farm or center? Center. Really? Yep. Where's that other noise farm? I'm going to start with that noise farm. I'm going to pick up that corner a little bit. We got this light. The village stops right there. You in the village? Nope. <laughs> we, we, got, we got about this much of a tabletop in this village. <laughs> Because Jeff Miller's in the village, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how the line runs, but Jeff, Jeff's the last one in the village. Okay. Eddie Webster's mother is she in the village? No, Eddie's the last one in the village. I mean, uh, what? Um, Jeff Miller. Jeff Miller. Okay. It's a funny line. Oh yeah, it there. is right. It hooks right around that way. Right? And yes, it does. Right. Okay. Ready to adjourn? Yep. Yeah. Any motion? Adjourn. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay.